All right, let's go ahead and review what we learned. So our cue was we will identify and describe sound energy by investigating sources of sound energy so I can understand why sound energy is important to our everyday lives. We learned about sound energy and why it's so important. Remember, sound energy is the energy that we hear, right? So if we got it done today, I want you to give me a double thumbs up because it's Friday, okay? So first, did you learn about sound energy? Give me a thumbs up, double thumbs up if you did that. Second, did you write about why I think sound energy is important? Remember, before we even went over it, I had you think about your own answer of why sound energy is important. Give me a thumbs up. Then, did we investigate sources of sound energy together? Double thumbs up. We looked at instruments. We looked at music. We looked at our vocal cords. Remember, your voice creates vibrations so that we can communicate with one another. And then third, or fourth, did you draw and write about sources of sound energy and what you learned today? Give me a double thumbs up. I hope you were able to find um, really cool sources of sound energy. There's one more activity that is optional at the end of this, and that is to create your own instrument or sound energy device. You can find uh, um, different materials or objects around your home or around the classroom and make, some, uh, make an instrument or a device that creates sound energy. It's optional, you do not have to do it, but if you do do it, you can take a picture or video and attach it to the um, second to last slide. Okay, and I am excited to see what you create if you choose to do that. I hope you enjoyed learning about sound energy today, and we're going to continue looking at energy next week in science as well.